Hey everybody, so we got a nice sunny but windy Thursday afternoon. I'm not going to let that hold me up. I'm in the mood to cook. So we're going to go out and get the Traeger started and I have a recipe that I found that I'm going to put my own twist on it. Stay tuned, I'll show you what it is, what twists I'm going to put on it, then we'll taste test it, see if it tastes good. Let's go light the grill. All right, like I said, it's a bit windy out, so I'm not going to take the camera outside and try and deal with the wind out there, but the grill is lit, I promise. We're going to be doing this recipe on the Traeger 885. It is a recipe that I found on YouTube. I like to watch YouTube cooking videos, gives me different ideas, different inspiration. Kind of gives me a basis to do my own twist on things and just inspires me to do my own thing. Um, like fajitas. We just did fajitas on the Blackstone out at uh, the hardware store the other day. So I was watching Meat Church and uh, he came up with a smoked meatloaf recipe. Now his was his way. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to get a little bit spicier on it. Uh, maybe kind of a I don't want to say exactly a Mexican, but a hotter version of it. And his meatloaf, he puts, he tries it and does it with a, a nice bark on it. My family and the people I cook for with meatloaf, they just much rather a glaze on it. So I'm going to do my own glaze. Now, some of the changes that I'm going to be making, obviously, I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. I am going to be using my own barbecue sauce that I made. I will probably be using some of the pineapple habanero rib candy over there. That'll be the glaze mixed in with my barbecue sauce. And of course, I'm going to be using the frag out seasonings. And I'll show you which ones here in a minute. So I'm going to work on getting all the ingredients. Lost my head there for a minute. I'm going to work on getting all the ingredients set out. Let you guys see those. I'll write down what I use in the... In the in the description I'll also put a link to the meat church in the description it is definitely worth pointing him out so let's get going
All right. Well, that little montage, that that be the word I'm looking for? That was how I put it together. Uh, I didn't use all the onions because I'm not a huge, huge fan of slivered onions and chopped like that. So I used about half. That appeared to be plenty. Um, both are on the grill. I actually went with one that was a little bit thicker. That was my nicer nonstick pan. And then I went with one that was slimmer. So I might bring that over by dad and then I'll have more for lunch for the rest of the week. Um, really quick before we move on, here is making the glaze. With the glaze, I used my barbecue sauce, which is a Kansas City barbecue sauce. I used whatever amount. I uh, just kind of poured a little bit of the Fireshire W sauce in there. And then I added some of that pineapple habanero rib candy. I kind of played it by eye. It usually turns out pretty good when I do it that way. But this W sauce is new to the area. I've been hearing a lot about this. Meat Church is actually the place that I originally heard about it. But now the store that I do the demos at carries it now. We put it out with some chicken the other day. I know Worcestershire sauce, chicken, maybe not the best, but it was amazing. And they have two types. They actually have the Fireshire, which is a little bit spicier. And then they have the regular. So I have a feeling this is going to start to be my, my go-to's. No more getting it out of the grocery store. <sighs> then it was this pineapple habanero rib candy that I used from Texas Pepper Jelly. Another one that I got turned on to from Meat Church. But the only thing I haven't gotten turned on to from him is his, the Meat Mitch barbecue sauce he likes. I kind of like the blues hog and making my own. I like to make my own a lot better. I'll show you the seasonings here. I know I should have prepared better and had these sitting out, but the two seasonings I used today for this were, it was a blend, one tea tablespoon of the Reaper laced blend or Reaper. So yeah, that's going to be a little spicy. And then I used the 50 mango habanero. So this is kind of a, a sweet and spicy. So they should really offset each other. And again, this was one tablespoon. Then I put in some Chipotle Tabasco. So mine is going to be a little bit hotter than his, and mine has chunks of pepper jack cheese in it. In a little while, right now I have the grill on 225, and I turn super smoke on. He runs it at 250 for four hours. I'm going to run it at 225 for an hour or two. Then I'm going to crank it up to 350, and that should be right about supper time. We want to get it to an internal temperature of 165. So... When I go out and check it in a little bit, when I crank it up, I'll bring you guys along. Just caution, it's windy. You might hear a little wind. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so we just took it out the grill. The big one's 165, so the little one would be, and there is quite the size difference there. We got our glaze on it, and then I just put the rest of the sauce over it, so it's got a nice sauce around it got our cheese our onions you can see and well let's see if I can try a little taste here while we're all around here mmm -hmm. wow it's perfect Sorry, it's so shaky. That's just perfect. A little spicy, but not too bad. And you don't have to make yours spicy. The options are so many that you could do with it. So I'll put links down to everything in the description. I'll put the Meat Church links down there. I'll put my Frag Out Flavor links down there. Um, the Texas Pepper Jelly and the W Sauce. I'll put all that down there for you guys. And then I'll put down basically how I made it, what I added, and everything I used and by the way if you ever get the chance uh, it's gonna be hard to zoom in on it isn't it Messermeister this is a new boning knife that I got and it's really nice there it's zoomed in I'm holding the phone right now so four seasons nice boning knife it was uh, I think about 30 bucks 
came nice and sharp. I mean, it cuts perfectly. It feels good in the hand. So uh, coming up in the future, I'll have a review of some of the tools I use. Well, guys, I'm going to go and eat. You guys get out to cook something. And I will see you all later. Thank you.